everyone, it's Lucy and my nine nails. <laughs> and today, you know, I was just in the mood for mm, a little chaos because I impulsively the other night decided to order a lash lift kit from Amazon. <laughs> I'm very much like a DIY girl, okay? Like, so uh, I've never got my brows done. I've never like gotten waxing done. I've just, I, I don't think apart from like maybe a facial once or twice, some, uh, oh, I, I, like I've gotten a couple of pedicures and my nails done a few times. So like that's, that's it. Like I just don't do it. Um, and it's been a really effective way of like saving money. Uh, cause I'm low key, a little bit stingy <laughs> in that department. And then like when I see all of these like beautiful angels on like TikTok and like out and about in my city and they have like fluffy brows and like beautiful lashes. And I'm just like, that should be me. So today we're going to try and make that me. Uh, I bought a lash kit and it's it's for lashes, but I think from like my research and from like looking into stuff, I think you can also do brows. Okay, I wouldn't buy a brow lamination kit and then use it on my eyelashes because what if it's not eye safe? But if it's an eyelash lift kit and then I use it on my brows... <laughs> so... Let's, oh, I threw away the instructions. Obviously, <laughs> this is not gonna be anywhere near as good as getting a professional to do your brows and lashes because like, they're a professional, it's like literally their job and they've trained for it. So by no means am I like, this is a perfect substitute for like, no, it's not. If you just have like a God complex and you think that you can just do everything yourself, uh, like moi, then keep watching. Oh, something's leaked. That's not great. Ooh. Ooh, she's a little bit crusty. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I feel like I don't, I like just washed my face. I haven't put any moisturizer on in case you couldn't tell I'm like not wearing any makeup. <laughs> okay, I thought this was, oh. I think this is just makeup remover. I'm just gonna get a cotton bud and we're just gonna go for that. Um, I'm gonna do my lashes first, but then if that goes okay and I don't blind myself, I've got my mirror here. Oh, should we talk about why I'm laminating my lashes? I feel like we already kind of did that. I said it's because people are pretty, but also, um, like, where are my lashes? They're, like, completely straight. Like, when I close my eyes, you can see that there is, like, some lash. Wow, that was really depressing. I kind of thought it was going to be more impressive when I did that. Like, when I curl them, or, like, when I push them up, you can see. <coughs> yeah, I just don't really have very thick lashes. My lashes are... Not that long. My lower lashes are also okay. Um, but essentially, I was just like, I don't know. I go really ham with the lash curler. Like, me and my lash curler, best buddies. And I feel really like, ugh. I know. I don't feel like I need to wear makeup when I go outside, but I usually want to brush up my brows. I've actually brushed up my brows for this video, but let me just see if I can, like. <coughs> We'll be right back. I literally spilled like a whole cup of tea in my makeup drawer. And now the bottom of all, like my palettes are covered in tea. Like my modern renaissance palette is like, like all on the bottom. Like it's not that bad, but like, it's like wet. I'm so so, oh, there's tea in there, no. <laughs> Okay, well that was a little chaotic. Maybe more than I expected. Anyway, so I'm really coordinated. Um, not clumsy at all. Where were we? Oh, we were cleaning our lashes, right? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, the lash does not exist. So now that we know that I'm like really coordinated and qualified, let's continue with the instructions. So I've removed oil, dust and makeup residue and I'm gonna apply the eye pads under the eyelids to protect my skin from the lotions. Um, they didn't give me any under eye pads. Is that what they mean? Apply the eye pads under the eyelids. Because then the next step is put the glue on the eye pads, then place it on the upper part of the eyelid. Okay, in any of the like videos I've watched, there's no one, like no one's putting stuff under their eye. I mean, I can put some eye patches on, but like, for what? So we've got this glue. Now, some of the Amazon reviews I read were saying that this kit like I was saying like all the kits look the same but they were like the glue in this is really bad and it's like cloudy but the glue is clear so maybe they just had a dodgy batch 
Do you like how I ordered it anyway? I have false lash glue, so I kind of figured like if the glue was bad, I could just use my own lash glue because that's what another review said. No, like it's literally just lash glue. And I was like, okay. So I am not sure which curve I want, but I want something pretty intense because I really have a lot of lashes anyway. So I don't think it's going to look like crazy because I literally just like don't have lashes. So I'm kind of thinking like the second most intense one. I don't know. I feel like I can give them quite a bit of curve and they're not going to look weird. I don't know, I just am kind of like, eh, like if we're gonna do this, you might as well go like hardcore, right? My brain is very big. So let's put a little bit of this glue on these patches and then I'm gonna attach them to my eye. I did also see some reviews being like, you should do this with a friend, it's so much easier. And I'm like, yeah, but why would I wanna bother my friend when I can just like screw it up on my own? You know what I mean? Oh no, I got my life stuck under it. Wait, there we go. Hey, I just wanted to go like a little bit more down in the center because like there's a gap there but I don't know if there's anything we can do about that now. Ah, <sighs> my brain is so big. I can't imagine how this is going to go wrong. Should I do them one at a time? Oh, I'm going to need plastic wrap. Oh no, I'm confused. <laughs> well, it's stuck, so that's good. Should I do the other one? I don't see why not. Oh, it's still sticky. I forgot. Like it. Oh, I actually think it's quite unwise for me to do them at the same time. Oh, well. The whole thing's kind of unwise, isn't it? I can still see. I have 20-20 vision. Okay, I mean, I haven't actually gotten an eye test, so, like, I don't know, but, like, I'm pretty sure my vision's good. I think one of my eyes is droopier than the other, so, like, I can't really do anything about that. Not yet, anyway. The floor is wet from the tea. It's gone. I can't really see it though, because it's the same color as the carpet. I can like see if I like try really hard. So I think that's fine. It's not sticking. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to get the like glue to stick, but. Wait, and now I'm gonna put a bit of glue on the lashes while they're there to like stick them down. It's going so good. I'm gonna be so pretty. No, we're falling off. No! <laughs> ah! Poke myself in the eye. Oh god. Oh, this does not bode well. Who would have thought? Okay, it's starting to like actually work, so good for me. I guess. I think we're almost there. I don't think we can get much better than this. I'm just gonna get these like little end pieces here to like stick up. Hey! That's alright. And imagine how nice that will look when it's like permed. Okay. Okay. Let me stop there for one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I hope this works. So you just need to be stuck to the pad for one minute. Glamour. Are you guys loving this? This is like a really entertaining, informative video. I feel like I'm learning a lot, honestly. All right, let's get our plastic wrap ready. See, I know I could have done both at the same time, but I feel like that was just too ambitious for like my personal brain, you know? Okay, so now we have like an appropriately sized square. When the time comes, I will be ready. And the time is now, I've decided Ooh, it smells terrible. Woo, woo, that smells bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a cotton bud because like they haven't given me anything else. So like, it smells like eggs. No. I'm really trying to be careful about using too much because if I use too much, I will maybe die. I just don't feel like that today, personally for me. Uh, some of them are coming off, but I feel like it's gonna be okay because I'll put the plastic wrap on and that'll like stick them back down. I feel like I've applied a liberal amount of solutions and I'm just gonna... Okay. And now I wait for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm just like kind of pushing them a bit with my fingernail because I can kind of like move them. I'm just doing that so that they're like actually going up and not to the side. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Let's use another bit of plastic wrap. That didn't go good. Okay. 
Ah, they're all falling off. No. I feel like I just need to like. Ah, I feel like I just need to like put it on. And like. Push them up and like go lie down and get them to stay there. Cause like I feel like if I just get them to stay. With the plastic wrap, that's enough for me. Okay, let's just go lie down. It doesn't look too bad. I need to stop touching it. Okay, we're gonna wait for 10 minutes and hopefully it works. Mm. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> No! Oh, that's so sad. Maybe I can like... Can I fix this? So I just need to remove this with this brush and then apply the fixing agent. I think I can still fix this. That was just to like get the lashes to chill a bit, you know what I mean? I might not be able to get all of them, but see, even that they've come back. This could still be alright. This should be okay. We can do it. It's not as bad as I thought it was. This would be like such a turnaround if this like works okay. I'll be really impressed. Oh, this one doesn't smell as bad. Nice. I feel like that one was like to relax it and soften it. And this one is to get it to stay. I'm sorry, I'm like not really able to get a good shot in the camera, but I'm kind of focused on like not blinding myself. I'm sure you can understand. Okay, I don't want to jinx myself, but that wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, I'm just going to chill with that for another... 10 to 12 minutes. I'm feeling kind of optimistic. That's like looking all right. Look at that. It's not like perfect by any means. There are a few like strands that escape, but like, if I can have some of my eyelashes curled, I'll be pretty pumped, not gonna lie. Okay. All right. <gasps> it kind of worked. All right, so I need to clean it all off with the cleansing lotion and the comb so let's do that wait i'm like so excited i don't think it really worked that well but i think it definitely did something <laughs> my eyelashes are still really tiny but it kind of worked oh my gosh it kind of worked <gasps> wait okay hang on and it says i have to apply the nutrition lotion to nourish my lashes which okay sure it didn't work as well as i think it could but like for a first try i don't think that's bad like look at my eye without and look at it with that's a pretty significant difference okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the other eye off camera because i think we get the process now and i'm going to do that and then i'm going to come back and then we're going to do the brows together okay my lashes are done and they're still really short and I definitely didn't do it perfectly, but it's kind of cute. Like, I don't think it's half bad, but I figured together we can do my brows and I've just put the like cleaning solution through it. So there's nothing in there. I don't know if I should use the glue or not. Cause like, do we need it? And that's the other thing. Like, I feel like the comb, I was too scared to like use it like aggressively on my eyes because it's like pointy and sharp but I can like use it aggressively on my eyebrows I don't think I don't think I need the glue I think my brows will just stay in place I'm just gonna comb them how I like them using a spoolie like that I really want the front part to be really fluffy and what I'm gonna do is just use that q-tip and just like apply it on top of them like kind of like dab it on and that should work right Right? Maybe I didn't put enough solution on my lashes, but they still, like, it worked. They just didn't, like, all get captured. Oh, this smells really bad. This perm solution. Oh, I see why you should use the glue. Because <laughs> when I put the cling wrap on, it's gonna, like, move it, right? Okay, I think, I think we're just gonna have to... I think we're just gonna have to stop. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to stop. That's fine. That's fine. And let's do the other one. <laughs> Why does he look like that? This one is looking pretty good. Why does this one look like that? No. I guess I shouldn't get too caught up about the shape because like I just want them to be more 
up so it shouldn't necessarily have to be perfect okay I think that'll do I feel like those are sealed and once again I'm going to go away I'm gonna come back and is that a storm and I'll come back and put on the second solution we're gonna wait for another 10 ish minutes okay I thought I was recording but I wasn't but I took off the plastic and I've just removed like most of the product and oh my god does it not look like I'm like really impressed okay wait I don't know what that was new cup of tea let's pray this one doesn't go everywhere okay I'm gonna put the second solution on now and I feel like it's actually gonna be okay because like the brows are a lot more malleable now because they have lost all their structure lol so they're a lot more uh willing to be moved i'm like living for this this like brow one is especially like it's so much easier and it's very satisfying like ugh, i feel like i'm just gonna end up getting lash extensions and i've been avoiding it because i feel like it's something that i will really like and then i'll want it all the time and then it's gonna be expensive like I look so much better than what I did before right I think like genuinely now that my brows are lying flat I just have like more to work with oh my god and I won't I don't have as many of the like weird gaps like I had so many okay, I still have weird gaps but I had like really significant like weird gaps in my brows before and I feel like that's like way less horrific okay i am like if this works and i like how it looks i will definitely keep doing it. i feel like i don't even need to fill in like the front part of my brows like a couple of strokes and i'm like good to go like this is iconic i'm sorry i'm pretty happy with this lash lift not gonna lie like you know i'm looking at it now and it's not like crazy hectic, but also like I don't have that many lashes and it wasn't a perfect job. So for like what I was able to accomplish, I think that's like pretty okay. You know what I mean? That's just like doing something for me and I appreciate it. Ah, this big fly, where did you come from? Ooh, wait, why does it look so good? That fly is like so disconcerting. Are you okay? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes and I'll be back with the final results. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Guys. Guys. I feel like the lash is good, but the brows are making like a huge difference to me. Oh, that looks great. Oh my gosh, I really like it. <gasps> okay, what do you guys think? Oh my god, wait, I think it's like really pretty. I'm really vibing it. I don't know what to say. It looks really good. I'm just gonna pop a little bit into the end of my brows. Oh my gosh, I am the Glossier girl. You guys, why didn't you tell me? I'm the Glossier girl, that's fun. That's fun for me. I feel like I'm being like super narcissistic, but I'm like, I mean, I just don't want to put mascara on, but like still, I think it's pretty good. And that little pack was like $30 on Amazon. I'll link it down below, although like, I think they're pretty much all the same. I'm really happy with how that worked out. Okay, I think that's really the summary. I, yeah, brows, stunning, lashes. We did what we could with what we had, but still cute. I think the lashes are more of a like a bother though. Like it was more difficult. And like the result isn't as rewarding. So I would definitely recommend it for brows, but lashes like, yeah, the one Amazon review is right. Probably like do it with a friend or get someone to help you. Cause I think that would be a lot easier. Cause I did them like not at the same time. I think if I did it next time I could do them both. Um, but just for my first time I was like, do I want to go blind today? No, not really. I'm getting my like off duty model fantasy. And that's like really all I can ask for in complete honesty so I'm happy with that thank you so much for watching this like chaos time I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's given you some like 
tips or like a what not to do <laughs> if you want to do this yourself. Again, if you're unsure of anything or if you, you know, are prone to having allergies or anything like that, or if you just like want it done really well, I would probably go see a professional. But for a little bit of fun, you know, at home, if you want to try something, I would recommend the brows. The lashes I'm still like uh, danger zone, but it's fun. And while I don't know if I can like recommend this to you as like something you should do with like good conscience because like I like I gambled on myself but I'm not really sure if I should gamble on you I can recommend that you watch some more of my content so uh, subscribe to my YouTube for more like chaos I would say chaos is the most consistent element on this channel so if you enjoy that then please subscribe uh, and I put my links to my other social medias down below so if you want to see me on other things like in vertical or in like three, four dimensions, TikTok and Instagram, or in words or media, Twitter, then that'll all be in the description, which I just said already. You get the point. Thanks for hanging out with me today so I wasn't alone in doing this. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.